Hi, this is Michael Quinton from my Nokia Worm Farm. I'm taking you today to a mice uh, paddock, mice crop. This paddock here was for two generations of pine trees for almost 50 years and it's now converted into, into farmland. And the farmer's um, doing a great experiment. Um, he's growing maize as a first crop. And I think he's doing a great job. And if you look at if we look at these, these cops, they are fantastic. We believe one of the reasons why he's achieving such a good result is he was using our vermicompost. Um, vermicast is most beneficial to farmland, uh, cropping system, pasture, uh, horticulture in general, especially where soils are low in organic matter and where no earthworms are introduced to the soil and living in the topsoil. So you can imagine if there are no earthworms, then the earthworm product is achieving the most. Different factors. First of all, it's organic matter. And not just organic matter like, like in, in unprocessed uh, uh, leaves falling down on the ground. It's humus, already processed, uh, like in, in, in over several years in the soil. We have it processed at 12 months in an intensive worm farm that represents like five years in the soil. Uh, so it's, it's, it's almost matured humus which is the battery of the soil. It's storing moisture, water in the soil, nutrients, so the plants can access the water as well as the nutrients. Um, it's storing the nutrients uh, from mineral fertilizer. But most important, the vermicast contains plant growth promoters. These are humic acid-like substances like gibberellin and auxins, and when they're leaching out of or washed out of the out of the vermicast, they trigger root and plant development. And especially if you imagine this is a new, it's the first time it's growing mice after pine trees. There's hardly any organic matter in the soil. A maize will struggle with root development. So the more roots you're growing, the more water the, the crop can access, the more nutrients can be allocated in the root system. And this is leading to top yields in maize. We experience farmers who are having top yields of 18 ton dry matter. This year they were achieving 20, up to 21 ton dry matter per year. So that's an outstanding result. They will save mineral fertilizer by replacing some of it with organic uh, uh, vermicompost. 